Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip for you. Today we're going to be using ScreenFlow 9 and I'm going to show you how to white balance or at least how I white balance my videos. Now why would you want to do this? Basically if you use ScreenFlow as I do just for quick edits or even larger edits you want to be able to do white balance. So and in order to do that what we're going to do here is we're going to take our Alexander Hamilton person here and we're going to white balance uh, using our Hamilton because he's using like a white, the, the white letters on his shirt. And so to do that, we're going to go ahead and select the clip, then go to our video adjustments. Then we're going to add three little uh, uh, video filters. We're going to add exposure. We're going to add a, a gamma adjust. And we're going to add a white point adjust. Now the reason we're adding gamma and exposure you'll see in a second. So uh, exposure we don't really have to do anything because it kind of automatically sets the exposure correctly so it's pretty good exposed right now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do our white point adjustment. So we're going to take our white point adjustment. We're going to go to color right here. We're going to take our um, eyedropper tool. We're going to go over something that's as close to white or as close as we want to get white. We click on it once and it looks like it's way off. Well, basically you're gonna make sure that your RGB slider is not on RGB, but on HSB, okay? And so we're going to find the opposite of whatever color we found here. So to find the opposite of our hue, we just add 180 if it's below 180 and subtract 180 if it's above 180. So since this is below 180, we're gonna add 180, which brings us to 220. And there you have it, we are balanced. So now that's where the rest of this comes from. So as you can see, our color might be a little bit shaded here, so we can bring this up a bit. And if we want to do our midtones, we can bring our midtones to give it a little bit more contrast. And there you have it, so this is before, and this is after, okay? And that's basically it. Now let's say, let's go ahead and erase all of these. So let's say we break this up and in the middle here, we have another, um, something else in the middle and we want to match these two. Okay, so we want to match these two to make sure that they're the right color in both sections. Well, in order to do that, just even if they're separated, make sure that you highlight both by uh, shift selecting, or you can select by selecting every double clicking the track and everything in that track is selected. Um, and once you have everything selected, you can do the same thing. You can go ahead and add your exposure, add your gamma and add your white balance okay and as you can see if i click here it's on it if i click here it's not but if i click here it's also on it so again you shift click both you make sure you pick one of these so let's go ahead and pick uh this one right here again we're going to go ahead and add 180 so that would be 216 Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and adjust our exposure here and maybe some of the midtones, ah, something like that. And now, as you can see, these are both matched up perfectly. And while we're at it, maybe we want to white balance this. So obviously this paper needs to be white. So let's go ahead and do it here too. So again, for one last time, we're going to go up, oh, select it, exposure, gamma, and white. Okay, so now we got to go backwards here. Let's go ahead and click on our white balance on the paper somewhere here. And since we have 22, let's add 180. So that's 202. Now we're balanced. Then we bring out a, up our exposure a little bit here and maybe the midtones. And so now we have a perfectly white balanced um, 
video here. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you really liked what I sent, uh, what I showed you here, don't forget to subscribe and put a thumbs up there. Have a beautiful day.